Okay, now, this is the big boss, <laughs> Hal Brandon, and he's going to tell us something about the differences between uh, Roth IRAs and traditional IRAs. So what's up with that, Hal? Okay, Dean, um, uh, these IRAs are a way to save for retirement that would be something you'd use in addition to Social Security when you retire. Um, Again, there's wait, two. Wait, wait, what about Social Security? Do you feel all warm and fuzzy <laughs> about having Social Security in, not, in the next this, 20 years? Not at this particular moment with, uh, with the spending uh, that's going on in, uh, in Washington, but, but that's why it's so important to have something in addition to you know, Social Security to, re to retire on. Um, there are two types of IRAs, a traditional and a Roth. Um, whether you can contribute to these IRAs or not depends on many things, one of which is if you're participating in a retirement plan at work. So uh, in this short video we won't be able to cover all the issues, but the major difference between a traditional IRA and a regular IRA is the tax treatment. On a traditional IRA you get current tax deductions. Uh, in other words, your contributions are deducted from your adjusted gross income. And it grows tax deferred and when it comes out uh, you have to pay income tax on the total amount. With a Roth IRA, you get no current year tax deduction. It grows tax deferred, but when you take the money out at retirement, there's no tax, no federal income tax on the money. So um, you really need to consult your tax advisor as to whether you should do a traditional IRA or a Roth. There's a lot of different calculations you can run through, um, but it's important to get started. Um, for example, um, a traditional IRA uh, you can't contribute to it if you're you're participating in a retirement plan at work. However, you can uh, with a Roth IRA, depending on what your adjusted gross income, which it starts to phase out at one hundred sixty-seven thousand dollars. So well, most people can can um, make a Roth IRA contribution. Yeah, I think most of our readers would fall in that under one hundred sixty-seven thousand <laughs> category, but but we're most trying to we're trying to work on that part. Yes, uh, that's what it's okay, all about. How, one thing I want to ask is. What does adjusted gross income mean? That sounds like an IRS question. Well, it is, and, and again, you certainly should consult your tax advisor on specific tax questions, but basically it's, it's your, your, your income, your earned income that you made during the, a calendar year, and it's, um, so you add that number up and you subtract out certain deductions. Uh, one of the du deductions would be a contribution that you might make to a traditional IRA. There are other deductions. Um, moving expenses, but the list is too long to cover in this short video, but the adjusted gross income is after those expenses. Okay, so it's, it's a line item on your tax return, right? It is, a, it is the actual b bottom number on the first page of a Form 1040. Great, that's pretty simple. Great. Thank you. Yes, ma'am.